Marcus Carr is the freshman starting point guard of the Pittsburgh Panthers of the NCAA, which is a tough task for any young player, but he has had a chance to learn from someone who has walked a similar path. His half-brother, Dwayne Nolis, who finished his collegiate career with a Final Four appearance with South Carolina. Some people don't even know that these two are related. And years ago at St. Michael's College in Toronto, Ontario, that was exactly the way they wanted it. It was mutual on both sides. and We're still at home, we're still cool, but when we got here it was kind of like, you know, try not to make it too obvious. Because we both play basketball, I didn't want to just be known as like Dwayne's little brother. I just didn't want him to feel like, you know, he was in my shadow. I wanted him to have his own identity, and I think he's done a good job of that, a great job of that. Having different last names and, you know, maybe not really looking totally identical kind of helped as well. Nobody kind of really knew until like, you know, close friends started figuring it out, but it wasn't like we were hiding it, it just we weren't, we weren't broadcasting it. Both brothers took the discipline they gained at an all-boys private school and applied it in their U.S. prep school careers before hitting the NCAA. And like the Canadian basketball brothers that have come before them, the older brother has helped pave the path for his younger sibling. He definitely laid out the map and all I had to do was follow what he did to be successful, maybe some of the things that he didn't do that maybe I would need to do and just sort of things like that. It just makes it a lot easier when you're not going through something for the first time by yourself. A lot of stuff that I've been through I'm able to help him with just because um, he's kind of taking the same route. Um, he's done a much better job than me, I can personally say. I always knew he was going to be really good because when I started working out young and training, he was always there. Um, it was never a situation where I went somewhere by myself. He would always be on the side shooting and working out, trying to mimic the drills that we had going on. For the longest time, I always kind of bullied him and I always, you know, I always beat him. He never get a win off, but, you know, now it's starting to even up. Um, so that's just a testament to his hard work. He started out hot, 4-0. <laughs> it was looking bad for me. <laughs> it came back. St. Mike's friends was mad at me because I haven't been here in two years. Had to find it. Oh! It's like once he completes a level, he can give me all the information and feedback I need, to, I need to know in order for me to succeed at that level. He's watching me, he knows I'm watching him, and whenever he does something, like when he was in the Final Four, I feel like I'm living through him when he has those experiences. Yeah, I'm extremely proud just, you know, being a big brother and just seeing everything he's been through. I just want to see him take it further than I've taken it. We grew up together, went through certain things together, and then now he's doing what he's doing. I just feel like I'm doing it too.